We've got some breaking news now, actually. It's very timely because it's from Arsenal. They've just tweeted in the last 60 seconds or so saying, uh, working closely with Socrates and his team, we have decided to cancel his contract by mutual consent. This gives him the freedom to negotiate a contract with a new club and return to action as soon as possible. I mean, we know that he was left out of both their Premier League squad and Europa League squad ahead of the season. They've also got some quotes here from uh, Edu, who said, on behalf of Mikel, our coaches, players and everyone at the club, we would like to thank Socrates for his contribution to the club. He's been an important part of our group and has been a model professional throughout. The negotiations to end his contract have been collaborative and we wish him and his family well for the future. So Socrates and Arsenal, they have uh, terminated his contract by mutual consent and, and now he can uh, effectively negotiate a contract with a new club and, and return to action, they say, as soon as possible. Uh, JD, what do you make of that? It's not a massive surprise, I suppose. I don't think it is a massive surprise. We've reported here on Sky Sports News for a number of weeks now uh, the interest that's come from Italy and also from Spain uh, about a move for Socrates. At this moment in time, six months less than your contract, you had the availability to talk to um, European clubs that weren't sort of a base in the Premier League at this moment because of the length left on his deal so you, it's probably best for both players because he would have been collecting let's say a, a decent wage at Arsenal Football Club but if the manager's made it clear that he's not in his first team which is obviously indicated by the amount of minutes that he's played this year and that he's a man that wants to get himself back into playing first team football with a first team regular team then at this moment in time that probably is the best deal and I think it probably has ended in a sort of amicable way and one thing I will give you insight is speaking to a few of the players they do talk about Socrates' professionalism and they do talk about the impact that he does have in the changing room especially with a lot of young defenders that have come into that changing room recently he has been very hands on in terms of helping their development maybe not so much being able to help them on the field but very much off the field. Is this good business by Arsenal this window the players that they're moving on you look at Socrates you look at Mesut Ozil? We spoke about it earlier on. It was about kind of kind of refreshing things, um, re-evaluating the squad, building a new squad, bringing in some young blood, just getting rid of some of those players that perhaps were on big wages that have been in and amongst it for a long time, but but aren't actually featuring in a starting eleven, and some of them aren't even making the squad. Uh, and Socrates was certainly one of those players that would have been looked at. If we can save some money, if we can allow him to go and play football, then that could be some wages that frees up to go and then bring someone in. It's quite interesting off the back of what JD said. Like uh, he said, Sky Italy have been reporting that Real Betis, Sevilla and Genoa have all been interested in Socrates over the course of this January transfer window. So it'd be interesting as to which one of those sides steps up their interest now that he's formally left the football club He's a free transfer and he can go and sign for who he wants. Yes, a confirmation of that breaking news then. Socrates is a free agent because Arsenal have decided to cancel his contract by mutual consent. 